Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to a new video series of the AWS Developer Associate tutorial. In this video, we will be discussing about the difference between uh, root user and the IAM user. And in this video, we will be learning that how can we create a user group and a new user, uh, or we can create a IAM uh, accounts or users. In the last part, we had created or signed up uh, to our AWS uh, free account, free tier architecture. And if you have not watched this video and you are not familiar with how to sign up in the uh, AWS console management, so you can watch this video. This video was made in the uh, Urdu. So if you're not comfortable with the language, you can switch or search any other video for signing up in the AWS from YouTube and any from any other platform. For now, let's flip to the another tab for aws management console and here we have an option of signing up so i will be click on the signing into the console when i click on the signing up there is a login page on login page you will be noticing that there are two options one is for the root user, another one for the IAM user. So what is the root user? Root is user is the user for which we had signed up for the first time our AWS account. Like in the previous video, I set up my AWS account. I provide all my credential and all my information, a MasterCard from which I paid $1 for the free tier architecture is my root user. So that means all the access will be having to the root user this is the main user or you can say the owner of this account now another thing we have is iam identity and access management user this user will not be the owner of uh, this aws management console or aws account he will be a, like working as a collaborator let's suppose you have a, a team of the developer in which you want to uh, assign or give the access to the AWS services. So you will not be giving them the credential of this root user. You will be providing them a new user, uh, which will be the IAM user, and you will be creating the account through this root user, and you will be providing uh, them the credentials of IAM users. So let's log in now for the root user to view the management console iam service let's click on the next and here it's asking me for the password and when i click on the password sign in i have enabled multi-factor authentication so this will be like a code to my phone uh, i'm stopping the video for the multi for entering the code all right so when I entered my uh, credentials, I will be logging into the management console page. And here are the services which I recently visited from this root user. And one of the services I am. So I recently have visited the service that is why it's displaying here. If you are coming here for the first time, so you can search over here on the search bar I am. So you can directly jump into the service I am from here also. You can have a look that I have created one user group and one user and I have a three roles. So let me take you to the user group. I have a one user group that name is developer. That means I have created a user group in which I have managed all the policies and the permission for the developers. Let's suppose I have five developers who will be needing the AWS access. So I will be creating their user account and, and I, uh, I do not want to add the permissions for each and every account so I will be creating a user group and assigning the user into that user group so you can have a look this is the user group for the developers and it has the one user Salman underscore dev one and there is a permission I have provided him as a uh, I have provided the developers as an administrator access so there are many more permissions we will be exploring that uh, later for now I have provided the developer as an administrator access so they can do anything to the service and now 
let's click our new user group for learning purpose let's create the user group how you can create so you can have a look that when you create on the user group there is a option or text box to create a username so i already have for the developers let's click for the uh, qa or let's call them testers okay and for tester i want to give them an access of, of only a few services like they want to make sure that a file has been uploaded to the s3 so let's say i'm giving the permission of the specific service amazon s3 full oops i removed that from the builder you can have a look that so i check amazon s3 full access for the permission policy and let's create the user group so this is the only uh, permission which i give to the tester for developers i provided everything full access as the administrator and for the tester i provided the specific one so you can configure according to your need this is not any you know fixed uh, rule to provide the tester as s3 and developer as an administrator this is according to your need and it will take a few time to create and while let's open the user in the new tab to create a new user you can have a look i have a one user let's suppose i caught uh, another developer in my team today so uh, and let's suppose he he needs the access to the aws for continuing his work so i will be naming as let's suppose his name is salman underscore dev and here are the type uh, you need to select select aws credential type so uh, obviously the developer needs the programmatic access of, uh, like access key and everything so i will be providing them and he also be needing the uh, access to the management console so i'm checking both for the developer and here is the console password that is auto generated but i will be uh, creating a password for him so I, I will be writing my password and I will provide that password to him uh, for now I'm stopping the video for typing the password and I will once I type the password I will click click on the next button all right I have uh, typed the password and now I am creating Okay, so it's asking me that the user you have created in which you want to add, you have two groups. So I this is the developer one. So I will be providing him. I will be adding him into the developer group, and this is for the next. I don't want to add the tag right now, and this is for the review. And let's click the create user. Once you click this button, the user has been created and this is the access key and the secret key is hidden. You can provide and here uh, you can see an option. So you can click on this send email button though. So you can have a look that once I click, click on the send email, it automatically generated the template for everything and providing me a sign in URL with the username and it does not uh, provide the password in the email for the compliance uh, issue and you will be providing the password in your private chat or somewhere else so it's not uh, all recommended to provide the password and email is not the temp default template is not generating the field password so you can provide the user uh, as a sign in URL and the username through the email once you uh, give him the type his email in the to and send the email so he will get all the he will get the sign in URL and a username and he, once he get this he will be he will be asking you for the password and you provide the password he will be able to log in so let's consider that we are the user Salman dev2 and move, uh, open a new browser uh, for my case I'm going to the Firefox in the Firefox, I will be opening the link which I got in to the email. 
you can have a look the email the link was quite different and this is the account ID with the 12 digit or now now I will be typing my name and this was my username mm, let's provide the password Once I entered the password, it will take me to a page where I will have to change my password. So it's asking me for the old password. Now I will be providing a new password for it. And let's change the password. Once I do that, I will be logging into the AWS console management page so you have seen that the username is Salman underscore dev2 while on my Chrome browser where the root user is login is Salman dot AWS so we have successfully created a user and a group also and we have assigned a, a group to a user so that's pretty much for this video I hope this video helps you to uh, create a user or helping you to create a user group so if you really like this video then please like share and subscribe to my channel see you in the next video take care office